Hey, this is Neighbor Argetsy. I'm bringing you some of the best comics that you might not know yet, but you're about to get to know them. Oh, it's good to be here. You guys sound good. Are there parents out here on a Tuesday? Oh, yeah, shout out the parents. Shout out the parents. I shout out parents at the top of all of my shows now because I'm new to the fraternity. And, uh, and I love seeing parents out enjoying their free time. So on a school night, I don't know who has your kids. But live it up. However you feel tomorrow's for tomorrow you to worry about. Have fun on this Tuesday. Uh, if you don't have kids in here, I want to tell you to your face, you have no idea how much you disrespect your free time. And that's why you don't get a shout out. Shout out to these parents enjoying their lives. I have two kids at home. My son is three. My daughter turned one last week, Tuesday. So that's what I got of the house set complete. Uh, I'm a millennial parent, which means I'm a bad parent. Uh, it's not my opinion. My mom told me and now I fly around the country spreading the news, you know. I agree with her. I don't think we're doing the best, millennials. Like, as a species, we've been having babies for thousands of years, and now it's our turn to sort of be in charge of it. Like, we're the current parents, and for some reason, we've decided that we could do it better. I think we could do it better. Let's change. Let's change some stuff. We could do it better. I don't know what gave us the confidence to think we could do it better than they've been doing it, but we're messing up big time. Big, to the veteran parents in here, we are messing it up, big time. They changed so much. I think uh, I think millennial parents are bad parents because they want their kids to like them too early. Millennial parents care if their kids like them. I'm born in 1984. If you're my age or older, do you remember your parents caring <laughs> if you like them? They didn't care. But millennial parents, we care. You see it out, you see. Millennial parents care, they're thirsty for their kids. Likes, like me, please. Please like me. Millennial parents want their kids to like them, so millennial parents don't say no to their kids. No is off limits. No is not a word you hear. You've never been at Target and heard a parent. No! You've never. Some of you felt that in your chest right now. You've never heard it. <laughs> I've like, every one of us has that one millennial parent friend that just says phrases you don't even get. My, I, had a, I had a friend that told me, she was like, I just can't, I just, he just knows, I can't say no to him. I can't say no to him. And I'm like, that's, that's when you're a grandma. You can't say no to him. You have to say no. I grew up with no. <laughs> I feel like half of the crowd right now is like, like half of you really love like the direction this is going. <laughs> and half of the crowd, I could see your faces like I'm holding up a mirror right now and you don't like, no. Millennial parents think they're doing a good job if they get down on their kid's level. Just get down as low as I can to the kids' level. And they say stuff like, um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, can you please? Can you, can you pl please? <gasps> Thank you so much. Excuse me, please. <gasps> Thank you so much. Do you guys remember your parents saying please to you when you were <laughs> You're not homeless. That's all the please and thank you that we got. Please? We've changed the punctuation. That's what we've done, millennial parents. We've changed the punctuation on parenting. Every single one of us in this room, our parents grew up with the same, full, it was period parenting. Period, pa hey, come here. Period. And we're like, okay. <laughs> all right, I guess that's the only option. I guess I gotta go. <laughs> Over there. Go to bed. Period. I'm like, okay. I guess it's time to go night night. Let me go to bed now. 
I don't know how you guys remember your childhood. That was me, just like taking orders. Hey, come here. I need to, I need to see you in this area right here, but I don't want to hear you. Just come over here and be quiet. Actually, now that I think about it, go outside and play, and I don't want to hear you outside until I call you back in here. Our entire childhood was, where do we go to shut the hell up? Is it right here? Oh, shit, I'll be over here. I'll be quiet over here. Period parenting. Period. We've changed it. We've added a question mark instead of that period. Millennial parents, that's what we do. You see them out. You see them out in public. You ever see, ever out with your friends and they're trying to get their kids, excuse me, excuse me, bud. Hey, excuse me, bud. Can you come here, please? The kid's like, no! <laughs> period. <laughs> Ironically, the kids are the only one that says no now. Like, oh, God. You ever stand next to a parent that gets shut down with a no like that, and you feel it, and you're, you're like, ooh, ooh, that kid's in trouble. They're going to be in trouble. Because you think about yourself saying no to your parents like that, and never, it doesn't, they don't get in trouble anymore. They don't get in trouble. You stand next to a parent that gets said no to like that, you feel like you're gonna see some punishment, what happens today is that parent will turn to you and start saying sentences you can't even <laughs> comprehend. <laughs> hey, can you come here, please? Please? No! Like, okay, oh, what is, oh, I forgot. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is a big feelings day for him, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> That's on me. That's my fault. We gotta, we gotta let him play a little bit. Today is his... <laughs> I realize what it is, you guys. It's like we, like most of you in here, you're like in my age group, like we didn't grow up with options. Like we was like, this is it. And millennial parents, we just decide we're gonna give our kids all the options. Like that's what we do. It happens in my house. It happens in my house. My, my wife is white. I, my kids are half white. So they're, I got white kids in my house. So you guys will get this. <laughs> There's a lot. I'm, I'm looking at a lot. It looks like my in-laws. That's what it looks like in here. There's a lot. It's a lot of white faces smiling up at me right now. My kids have options. My son is three years old. Right? And I know my wife didn't grow up like me because this kid wakes up every morning and he comes down to the kitchen and my wife says to a three-year-old, she goes, Kalino, what do you want for breakfast today? And I'm standing behind her like, what the... Like it's, it's Thursday, it's not his birthday, why? Why does he get to pick? You guys ever watched a three-year-old look at all the food that you've worked hard to buy? And look, you could see him looking at the food and thinking to himself, what do I want for breakfast today? You guys, we grew up with two options. You guys remember our options when we were kids? Our parents gave us two options. Whatever they put on the table or starve. Those were the two. <laughs> okay, we didn't kill ourselves. We're thriving today. We made it. <laughs> options. Millennial parents are running diners at the house. That's what we're doing now. Every morning. What do you want for breakfast? I'm here to take your order. What do you... What do you want for breakfast today? What could I start you off with? Some blueberries? Okay, ooh, that sounds good, blueberries. <laughs> what else would you like today? Waffles? Okay, before I put waffles, what kind of waffles would you like today? <laughs> blueberry waffles, all right, it's a blueberry breakfast. Um, anything else that I could get? Eggs? Okay, before, well, how do you want those eggs prepared? Egg whites scrambled, all right, normally that's a dollar more, but I'm your friend, so I'm gonna go ahead and All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. I think we all, doesn't matter what color you are in this room, we all share the same pastime as humans. Our favorite pastime is people watching. People watching is the best. If you're having a bad day as a person, nothing's gonna turn your day around quicker than going out into society, looking at a complete stranger and then judging everything about their life. More than people watching, lately I've, I've decided that eavesdropping is my favorite. Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping is like people watching, but with the sound on. You're like, what are you saying? 
My favorite people to eavesdrop on currently are millennial parents at the park. I love the goofy stuff they say to their kids. I transcribe it, then I fly around the country talking crap about these people. <laughs> and this is my latest, greatest story. I'm at the park with my son, and it's around the time where I'm ready to leave Nashville. So I say to him, I go, hey man, hey, six minutes and we're going home. And he goes, okay, and he goes back to playing. He's a good kid. Now, for the parents in the room, I never shout a round number. It's never five, 10, 15. It's always six, nine, 13, some crooked number. And I do that for me. I do that for me because I love shouting this random number, then watching the faces of the other parents at the park say, so look up, like, ugh, why six? <laughs> so specific. <laughs> hey, man, six minutes, we're out of here. He's like, okay, goes back to playing. Now, this woman, approaches me after I told him that. And I talked to her earlier in the park, but she comes up to me. And I talked to her earlier because her daughter was playing with my son. Her daughter, Olivia, two years old, was playing with my son. So Olivia's mom walks up unsolicited and she goes, uh, she goes, excuse me, could I give you a pro tip? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so bold, right? To be clear, I was not wearing a t-shirt that said, I need help today. Can I give you a pro tip? The first thought that went through my head was your daughter's two, my son's three. I don't know how you're pro already, but I would, I would love, I would love to hear this pro tip. <laughs> Before I get into the tip, I just want to tell you right now, whatever you're picturing in your head right now for Olivia's mom, accurate. That's exactly... <laughs> she goes, if you want your son to know it's time to go home and you want him to go home when you want him to go home, all you have to do is tell him you're gonna set a timer on your phone and when he hears that timer go off, he'll know it's time to go home. And I was like, ooh, thank you. I'm a pass on that tip though. I'm a pass, a hard pass on that. I'm actually raising a human, not a Pavlov dog. That's number one. Number two, Olivia's mom, let me tell you why my way is better, okay? Because when I tell this kid six minutes, that really means two minutes, all right? I lie to my kids. He's three years old. He has no concept of time. Sometimes six minutes is two minutes. Sometimes it's 15 minutes. But whenever I'm ready to go, I'm like, hey, man, that's six minutes. Let's get out of here. Yeah, my name is Matt Hall. Thank you so much.